Welcoming back to MSD Learning Board. In this video, we are going to check how to find whether the given input is accepted by the NFE Epsilon machine. So this is the process will be similar as we have done with DFA and NFA Epsilon. With the DFA and NFA. But there may be slight variation when you are doing some of the steps in between. So now here the given problem is for the given NFA Epsilon, check w equal to a b b is accepted or not so whenever the problem is given your first step is to identify the machine components of the given automata so m will be equal to q comma sigma comma del comma the initial state comma the final state so now q here is q is nothing but set of all state p comma q comma r sigma is a comma b comma c union epsilon which is nothing but sigma star so now your del is nothing but q cartesian product sigma star tends to 2 power q and here the q initial state is p and the final state here is r so this is what is the machine components now we have to make transition table so writing the machine components will be the initial step step number two is transition table so when you are making a transition table you have to make all the state to be on the vertical side so it is p q and r and all the input on the horizontal side along with epsilon input so here when you are making it you must uh, write which is the initial state and you must know which is the final state so this is the starting state representation and this is the final state representation. Now P comma A goes to P as well as to Q. So it is P comma Q. And P comma B it is MT. P comma C MT. P comma Epsilon it is Q. Q comma A it is MT. Q comma B it is going to the state Q as well as to R. Q comma C MT. And Q comma Epsilon it is R. Now, R, a it is empty. R, b empty. R, c it is going to R. R, epsilon empty. So, here the next step is you need to find the epsilon closure of all the states. So, epsilon closure of all the states. So, epsilon closure is nothing but you need to find epsilon closure of P, epsilon closure of Q and epsilon closure of R. So, when there is a difference between writing epsilon closure of the state and writing the epsilon transition for this each of the state. Whenever you, here you must notice in your NFA epsilon, P, epsilon will be equal to Q. Whereas, del of P, epsilon will be equal to epsilon closure of P. That is the difference you must notice it. Whenever if any state, epsilon is asked it is nothing but it you have to find to which state it is moving but whereas when you are applying transition to that state for epsilon it will be equal to epsilon closure of all the states for which it is moving on for epsilon input that is what is the difference so here let us now find what is epsilon closure of p but epsilon closure of p and epsilon closure of q and epsilon closure of r will include that state first. So, epsilon closure of P will include P. Now, P on epsilon goes to Q. Q on epsilon goes to R. Similarly, epsilon closure of Q, it includes that state. And Q on epsilon goes to R. Now, epsilon closure of R will be equal to that state R. So, now the third step is, you are have found out the epsilon transition for all the state. Now, we have to check whether W equal to ABB is accepted or not. So now we are going to use only the transition table and the epsilon closure to find the input acceptance. So the given input string is W equal to ABB. So the first step is first you have to make del of P comma epsilon. Here you should not take the entire input now as the given machine is NFA epsilon. The first step is before processing the input, you have to take the epsilon input. So, del of p, epsilon is epsilon closure of p. 
epsilon closure of p is we have already found p comma q comma r then now the next is you have to start taking each and every character from the states so now del of p comma a that will be equal to epsilon closure of del of del of p comma epsilon comma a whenever you are making an input acceptance for nf epsilon machine you must split the transition del of a as epsilon into a for which the finally you need to find the epsilon closure so del of p comma epsilon is already we have found out p comma q comma r so del of p comma q comma r comma a which is equal to del of p comma a union del of q comma a union del of r comma a which will be equal to del of p comma a is p comma q del of q comma a is empty del of r comma a is empty so finally you will have only p comma q for which you must take epsilon closure epsilon closure of p comma q which is nothing but epsilon closure of p union epsilon closure of q so now epsilon closure of p is p comma q comma r and epsilon closure of q is q comma r which will be equal to p comma q comma and r this will be the result for this del of p comma a now you need to find for del of p comma ab which will be equal to epsilon closure of del of del of p comma a comma b del of p comma a we have found out already as p comma q comma r so del of p comma q comma r comma b which will be equal to del of p comma b union del of q comma b union del of r comma b which will be equal to p comma b is empty q comma b is q comma r r comma b is empty when we are taking union you will have p q comma b is q comma r so now for which you need to take epsilon closure of q comma r which will be equal to epsilon closure of q union epsilon closure of r which will be equal to epsilon closure of q is q comma r and epsilon closure of r is r which will be equal to union is q comma r so now this is the result for del of del dash of p comma ab the next step is del dash of p comma abb p is the initial state here so del of you will have epsilon closure of del dash of del of del dash of p comma ab comma b del dash of p comma ab is already we know it is q comma r so q comma r it is nothing but del of q comma q q comma b union del of r comma b so q comma b is q comma b is q comma r r comma b is empty so here you will have q comma r so q comma r is nothing but you need to take epsilon closure of q comma r which is epsilon closure of q union epsilon closure of r epsilon closure of q union epsilon closure of r is q comma r already we have found out that is epsilon closure of q is q comma r union r which will be equal to q comma r so this is what is the final result so with this the language of m is nothing but you have to take intersection with the final state r which is equal to r so this is the final state so the given string w equal to a b b b is a b b is accepted i think you understand because the given language of the machine m will be equal to set of all strings w where del dash of the initial state comma w intersection final state does not equal to empty state so the given final answer is the result state is r so the string is accepted i think you understand if you have any other doubts you just comment on the channel do not forget to like share and subscribe the channel thank you